Well everyone, it's winter time on the homestead and I can't wait to share with you what I'm working on today. And welcome, it's Homestead Tessie's coming home. Well, good morning everyone. It's hard to believe that we are actually in December and it's so warm that my kitchen door is open. We have a, a few cold temperatures in the 20s, but I still am harvesting things in the garden and I thought I'd show you and come along with me. All right, let's go outside. I have to hang up some laundry and then I'm gonna show you what we're gonna work on today and hang this wash out. And then we're gonna see what we can find in the garden. Can we create beautiful gift that people will love and it doesn't cost me money? At least not much anyhow. Well, we'll have to see. I'm really looking at my spending habits and what do I do every year? Well, every year I used to buy new pajamas. That's a big Christmas thing. I looked at my wardrobe and I thought, well, I don't need them. So I'm not spending for them. I mean, sometimes we do things every single year simply out of habit because we're used to doing that. Certain things we buy every year, but do we really need them? So I'm figuring out what I can do with the money that I do have. All right, we're gonna go up here first and we're going to harvest some mint in the middle of December. It's crazy. Honestly, I probably wouldn't even need to have a sweatshirt on. A t-shirt probably would be fine. One thing I noticed about having less funds is you get more creative. So if you don't have the money to buy something at the grocery store, then you get more creative on how to create meals in your own home. Oh, it just smells so delightful. Mm -mm -mm. Especially these tender ones in the close to the house. Beautiful. So typically what happens is if we have a warm December, that means we're gonna have a really late spring. In other words, the cold is gonna set in in January, February, March, even April. So what I've been trying to do these days is stay out here as long as I possibly can because I love being outside and I get really cabin fever when it's long periods of cold where I can't really be outside. We're gonna go down to the garden and see if we can find anything down there yet.
All right, everyone. So we have the tea, and I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the dryer sheets. So the tea has been washed and dried. I just left it out in the sun to dry. And we're gonna fill up these dryer sheets as much as I can. Now, all right, I have it in the dehydrator. I have it set to 104, that is a little high. I'm gonna to try to, in about an hour, set it down to 95. All right, so it is finished. Now I wanna show you something here. When you d dry things at a lower temperature, it keeps the pretty green. All right, so when you're dehydrating at a lower temperature, all of your herbs will stay greener. So everything is finished now. Now what I have to do is go I show this in all of my videos when I do this. You're gonna go through a sieve like this. Okay, I'm gonna sit down and watch the Waltons while I go ahead and work on all of this. And then I'll show you how we put it into the tea bags and how I decorated it like this for a Christmas gift. Then I'm gonna show you these little spoons. These spoons are for espresso, but I'm gonna use them for in this tea. This is gonna be really pretty. I'm gonna sit and read my keepers at home. Thank you so much, my dear sweet friend, for providing me with these. I don't have this year. This is 2009. All right, everybody, I'll see you guys in a little bit. After the tea is dried, then all you have to do is you have to add the tea to the bags. Now the bags you can buy on Amazon really cheap. They're like under $6 for like 50 bags. So it really doesn't cost very much. Now these are your own homemade tea bags. And you can use these for gifts for people or in the winter time, it is amazing. Once you make your own tea bags, you will not wanna buy store-bought because the flavor is so much better than store-bought that's been sitting on the shelves for a year or so. This tea will last you a long time. I try to have it consumed within two years. Thank you so much for watching this video. This couple minute portion, it is a product review. For those of you who are not interested, you can please turn off the video now. But this is to fulfill a obligation of mine from a company who has been very generous with me. And I wanna share this product with all of you. Hey everybody, it's me, it's Homestead Tessie. And today we are going to review the wet dry vacuum now let me show you what it looks like before we take it out of the box this is the wet dry vac full demonstration for you how it works but let's take it out of the box first and let me show you what it looks like and then here is the roller for when you want to wash your floor It comes with its own cleaning solution which is really nice so what we're going to do today is we're going to clean our floor with it so basically what we're going to do is we're going to put it together like a vacuum cleaner it has your handles and then it has the main unit it also has its own brush to clean it All right, so it is charging up. Now we use solar here, so I have it charging up to a battery pack. 
but it is charging up. It is at 80%, so we're gonna go ahead and use it at 80%. It was really easy to put the mop head on it. It was very simple to do that. It comes with its own solution, so it has its own cleaning solution with it. It does come with its own cleaning solution, so we are using that. We filled the back with the solution in it. That snapped right into place. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna turn it on and we're going to clean our floors with it. It works absolutely amazing. Not only does it clean the floor, it vacuums up all of the dirt as well. Thumbs up for me.